Okay, we're we are gonna tie a steelhead fly now on a jig hook. And this is Jay's swing jig. This can be fished under an indicator, but it's really intended to be cast, a cast and swung fly. Uh, the reason to have it on a jig hook is so that your fly rides like this and you have less snagging. And um, it's, it's, uh, it's just a generally fishy color. So let's get on with it. This is an Umqua 60 degree jig hook. I'm going to use a, a fluorescent blue Danville's 210 denier thread. Flat wax mono. This is good stuff. Could you use other threads? Sure you could. No worries. So we're going to have a choice here. Do we put our eyes way up here? We put them back here. I'm going to put them right at the corner. Not that there's science to that. I just kind of like it that way. Now this is the same color combination that I used on um, a steelhead tube fly recently. But this fly looks a little bit different. And one of my reasons for tying basically the same color combination on different delivery platforms, i.e. tube or 60 degree jig hook, is that people have, some people just have an aversion to fishing tubes. They just don't do it. But they'll fish a regular hook. And this, this regular hook, boy, this rabbit hide is really thick. which makes it more important to trim this to reduce the bulk. Where was I? Oh yeah. Some, um, a tube fly might be fairly simple to tie, but many people will just, they, they just don't want to tie a tube. They, it just seems too strange. So I like to show, this is a really good color combination for steelhead. I like to show it on different delivery platforms so that people will get a chance to find something that they like to tie and fish. So now I've uh, got my, by the way, I got this on because what's coming through the water, the rabbit hair is on top. So Lagerton, carded, flat braid, good stuff. Hairline has a product that is very similar as well. This is a flow blue hollow. No, I don't know if it's hollow. It's it's fluorescent blue. You see, I have the, kind of a big wad back here. Is that okay? Sure it is. I'm trying to pretend it isn't there. If I had thought ahead, I would have had some underlayment to make the, the body perfectly well, the same diameter all the way up. But you know what? This is going to be fine. Fish aren't going to care about that. What am I looking for? I'm looking for my Senyo chromatic brush in a midnight. Um, this has a uh, black hair and it has some little purple flash in it. It's really nice stuff. So this general color combination is blue and black. And guess what? Blue and black is just a very attractive steelhead color combination. This is the last fly we tied. What's it doing here? So I usually get about three turns here. I could just use two. Actually, I don't want to get too many. I, I want enough black that it it uh, that it shows nice and bold. But also, I want to 
finish this off with a silver Dr. Blue, a small collar of silver Dr. Blue. So I need to leave a little bit of space here. I think I've got enough. Yep, I got enough. So when you tie this fly on the tube, in order to wrap it around the eyes, you wind up getting a much denser uh, section of black. So even though we're using the same materials here, this looks, th this is a sparser fly. Here's my silver Dr. Blue. Now I've tied this with Kingfisher Blue. I don't care for the Kingfisher Blue. I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not bad. But, in my opinion, the Kingfisher Blue is just a little bit darker than I like. And I have no idea if my thread's actually going to hold that hackle in there or not. But let's doesn't wouldn't be the first time. I'm going to fold that hackle just a little bit and cross my fingers. Sometimes the hackle pulls out right right now. Sometimes it doesn't pull out until I start winding. Here we go. If I got one turn on there, I'm good. I'm going to make it. Oh, I'm going to make it. Now you you could just use the black on the collar. But I really like this little accent of the silver Dr. Blue facing this fly. Here's that one wild feather. Hacklebar wheel, I should say. Just trying to reach in there. I'm, I'm doing this by feel rather than by sight because my eyesight just ain't all that good anymore. I find I do a lot of tie. That's why I don't tie size 18s and 20s and 22s anymore. It doesn't work to do those by feel. But these size 2s, yeah, you can do that. Okay, can you swing a fly on a jig hook? Absolutely can. That's why I like this 60 degree hook. I use a uni loop knot on that. Put a little bit of Loctite on the underside as well. Very nice swing fly, lots of motion. Blue, black, blue. That's not a lot of weight. That's just enough to get it down in the pockets. Uh, this is not gonna be a real hangy uppy fly. Hope you have fun with it. Get out there. And uh, if there's any steelhead around, they're going to be interested in this. Thank you.